guys and a welcome to the Family Fudge and a welcome to another week of School Lunch Inspiration. Okay friends, just a few things before we get started. First up, I want to say thank you to all of you who left such kind comments on last week's video. You know, I really enjoy making these videos and I like that you like watching these videos. So I definitely want to keep going and make more. And secondly, I wanted to answer some popular questions I got on last week's video. The first being, I thought you were a homeschooler. Yes, we are homeschoolers, but we have sort of a different schedule. We don't stay home every day. My kids go to co-op, they go to public school one day a week, they have classes that they go to, so I like to pack the lunch so we can take it with us where we're going that day. Another question that I get a lot is how many kids do I have? Now I actually do have four kids, but I'm only showing three of the lunches because my youngest is only one and a half, and he usually eats a variation of what the big kids are eating, but I don't really make it fancy and I don't pack it to go, so that's why I don't show it. Now the last question I got a lot on last week's video was about the fry sauce that I made. I make the Utah style fry sauce, which is basically ketchup and mayonnaise and pickle juice and you just mix it together and it's popular on burgers and as a dipping sauce. Now come to find out from you guys that there are similar sauces around the world and around the country, but you don't call it fry sauce. You might call it prawn sauce or burger sauce. So thank you for letting me know. That was very interesting. Now before we move on to the lunches, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you like school lunch videos. Now let's get started. Good morning guys. Happy Monday. So today I have Jackson and Lily helping me say hi. 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 So what do we have on Mondays, Jackson? PB and JD. PB and JD, that's right. <laughs> now today's PB and J is on whole wheat and I use some strawberry jam. For Mackenzie and Jackson, I gave them half a sandwich, and for Lily, I gave her a quarter, and Griffin's going to eat the other quarter of this sandwich. Now to go along with that, I am serving a broccoli salad, and it's actually really good, Jackson, you're gonna like it. This is broccoli and cashews, bacon bits and craisins, and there's a light sauce on there as well. Do you think you're gonna like it? Now if you eat all of your broccoli salad, you can have your treat. This is a candy cane Jojo and it's from Trader Joe's. Do you like these, Jackson? Yeah. Yeah, so make sure you eat your salad first, okay? okay? I'm putting this little tiny fork in here for the salad. Now for our fruit today, I'm serving some strawberries. I just cut them up and it included a cute little pick to pick up the fruit, just like that, so it's fun. And I'm also sending a yogurt. These are the strawberry with cereal Activia yogurt. So there's kind of like oatmeal in there as well. So that's all for today. I went ahead and put in an ice pack. The kids are gonna be drinking water today. Maybe some juice tomorrow, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna get my lids on and then we'll head out the door. Okay guys, we're back home now and it looks like the kids did really well today. Kenzie ate everything, Jackson ate pretty much everything. There's a few craisins in there. And Lily just left a little bit of her broccoli salad, but not much. What'd you guys think today? It was good. It was really good. What was your favorite part? I like the sandwich. The sandwich? What about you, Jack? I like the sandwich and the Oreo. And the Oreo? I, <laughs> I, I like the sandwich, the sandwich, and the Oreo. You liked everything? Yeah. Well, good. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, guys, and happy Tuesday. Good morning. So today we have a nut-free lunch, and Mackenzie and I are gonna show you what's inside. Yes. First off, for our sandwich, I have a bagel thin with a little bit of this strawberry cream cheese. We love this strawberry cream cheese. It is so good. Do you like it, Mackenzie? Yeah. So for Mackenzie, I gave her sort of three quarters of a sandwich, and same for Jackson, and then Lily just has a half. Now to go along with that, I am serving some cucumbers, although I made them into sticks today, just to change it up. We have some homemade ranch over here, and some grapes. Now for our egg, I actually used my little heart-shaped egg mold. And for each of the kids, I just gave them a half of an egg and I sprinkled some salt on there to make it extra tasty. For our drink today, I'm sending this fruit punch. And in our snack bag today, I have, oops. In our snack bag today, I have some of these veggie sticks. All right, I'm just gonna get all of my lids on here and then when we get home, of course, I'll show you what they ate. And we'll see you guys when we get back. 
Okay, time to find out what they ate today. Starting with Mackenzie's. I have Mackenzie and Jackson here with me. Hi. What'd you think today, guys? It was really good. Yeah? Let's see Mackenzie's. Oh, you ate everything. Did you eat all your ranch, too? Oh, there's still a little bit left in there, but that's okay. And then, let's see. Uh, you ate pretty much all of your veggie sticks. And for Jackson, he ate all of his veggie sticks. And let's check in here. You ate everything, even your egg. Did you like it? What was your favorite part? The cucumber? My favorite part was the bagel and the strawberry um, cream on it. That's like the best Thank cream you. cheese. I love that cream cheese. Okay, so you did a good job, Jackson. Let's see. Lily has a few of these little snacks left over. And let's see. She has one little bite of her bagel, a tiny little piece of cucumber, and about, I don't know, half of her egg. Although she did eat the uh, yolk out of her egg. So <laughs> overall, these guys did really good today. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon, friends, and welcome to Wednesday. Now I have to say, today's lunch is smelling delicious, and the kids are being really impatient. They can't wait to try it. Right, Jackson? Yeah. Does it smell good? Mm-hmm. Okay, so today I made a ham and cheese braid. This is actually really quick and easy to make. All you need to do is get some slices of deli ham and cut it up. You're also gonna need some shredded cheddar cheese and a can of crescent dough. So you just take your crescent dough, roll it out, and then you're gonna to wanna to pinch the seams together so you have one nice full sheet of dough. Next, I took my knife and I cut some slits down either side of the dough, leaving the center alone. I did not cut that part. Then I took my ham and placed it in the center, topped it with the cheese, and then I took my dough and folded it over all the way down. Then I just sprinkled the top with some everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. This has garlic and onion and some sesame seeds in there. It's very tasty. Then I just put this in the oven for about 10 minutes at 375. And it's making the house smell so good. Now I like to serve this warm so it's ooey and gooey with the cheese. It is so good. Now to go along with that, I'm also serving some cucumber and I just use my wavy cutter to make it look really fun. And I'm also serving some ranch to go along with that. Also for today, I'm giving the kids some yogurt. This is the Activia yogurt with oatmeal in it. So there's some fiber in there as well. And then our apple today is really special. I like to serve apples at home rather than sending them in the lunch because I don't have to worry about them getting brown. But these aren't just any apples. These are actually opal apples, which are sort of yellow, and they're really tasty. They're sort of tart and sweet all at the same time, and we love them. Are you guys ready to eat? Yeah. All right, here's Jackson's. Does it look good, Lily? Yeah. Yeah, eat it all gone. Okay. Where's Kenzie? <laughs> okay, guys, so it looks like they did really well today. I've got Mackenzie and Jackson here helping me. What do you guys Hi. think? It was good. It was really good. Yeah. What part was your favorite? I liked this. Yeah, I see I that. Too. I see that Lily left a little bit. Does you guys want to eat it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you sure that? Lily also left one cucumber, but she did eat all of her yogurt, and so did these guys. So overall, I would say that that was a success. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Thursday. Now today I have Jackson helping me. Hi. So today I have a really yummy lunch. I hope the kids are gonna love it. First off, I'm giving the kids some leftovers. Last night I made fettuccine with meatballs. And I put these in the thermoses today as well. Now last week I had an issue keeping my mac and cheese warm and a lot of you suggested to fill up the thermos with boiling water first. And I did actually do that last week, but I remembered that I didn't actually fill up the thermos all the way. That might have been why the mac and cheese didn't stay warm. So today I made sure to fill it all the way up with hot boiling water before I put the noodles in. Now to go along with this today, I'm also serving a cucumber salad. And as you can see here, I have a little bit of ranch in the side so the kids can mix it up when they're ready to eat it. And I just use my veggetti tool to make these uh, noodles. It's really easy and fun. I'm also sending some cottage cheese today, and then I'm not gonna forget my little spoon fork deal. And then today I have a very, very rare treat. This is a mini cupcake. My husband actually brought these home. They were left over from a party, but to get them to fit in my container, I had to just cut them in half. So 
Jackson, I want you to make sure to eat your salad first and your noodles and your cottage cheese and then you can have your cupcakes, okay? <laughs> I'm also sending a little fruit pouch today. This is the apple berry and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on. Um, I am gonna put an ice pack in here today because of the cottage cheese and the kids are gonna take their water bottles, so. We'll see you after lunch. Okay guys, now it's almost dinner time and I'm just getting around to checking the lunches. I have both Jackson and Mackenzie with me. Hi. So what did you think today, guys? It was really good. It was I good? I love the cupcakes. Yeah, me too. The cupcake it was the best part. Cupcakes. I had one of those cupcakes and they were very good. Good thing that they were small, huh? Uh-huh, yeah. It wasn't too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and start with Mackenzie's. How did you like your noodles? I liked it. Oh, you ate pretty much all of them. Was it kind of hard to get out of here though? Yeah. It was kind of hard to get it out. You ate all of your meatballs, good job. Of course, you ate your cupcake. And you also ate all of your cucumber salad and your cottage cheese. And did you have anything else? No. Nope. That was it? Okay, I forgot. So good job today, Mackenzie. Thanks. Now let's check Jackson's. What did you think, Jack? Oh, good. He, he ate all of his noodles. Still. Was it hot when you yeah. ate it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. You ate your cupcake and everything else. Good job, Jack. That's surprising. I'm not sure ate the you must have really liked it. Okay, now let's check Lily's. She ate her cupcake, of course. Lily, did you like your cupcake? Yeah. Was it your favorite part? Yeah. Okay, let's check your noodles. <gasps> you ate all your noodles and your and your meatballs. <laughs> good job. You must have been really hungry, but. I can see you have a few cucumbers left. Yeah. Did you eat any? I only ate one because I thought they were not good. You thought they were not good? Oh. It's just like the little ridges pieces that we had last night. Yeah, I just made it a different shape. But you ate all your cottage cheese, so that's pretty good. Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. Now, right now, I don't have any kids helping me, so let me see if they want to come help. Guys, you want to come see? Come here. Come see your lunch. Does it look good? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what I made today, I like to call a pizza pocket. So basically I took some crescent dough and I took two triangles and I pinched them together to make a square. And then I used my sandwich maker to grill these up. I laid down my dough, I added some sauce, some cheese, and some turkey pepperoni. And then I closed up my sandwich maker and it cooked it perfectly. It only took about 60 seconds and it was done. <laughs> Whoa. So now we have these cute little pizza pockets. Now these don't actually have to be served warm at all, they're fine at room temperature. So for Mackenzie and Jackson, I gave them half of a sandwich and then another little piece. So essentially three quarters of a sandwich. And for Lily, I gave her just a half. Now to go along with this today, I have a fruit salad. Do you guys like fruit salad? Yeah. yeah. So this has strawberries and grapes, pineapple, um, honeydew melon and cantaloupe. That's all my favorite fruits. All your favorite fruits. Uh -huh. And I did give them a tiny little fork to eat that with. Now over here I have a little skewer with some <laughs> olives. You guys like olives? Yeah. So yeah. there's three on there. And for Lily I just gave her two because your tummy's smaller, isn't it? Now I am including a treat today. This is Christmas Rocky Road Fudge. And I do have a separate video on this if you want to check it out. But basically this has chocolate, marshmallows, nuts, and sprinkles. So there's just a tiny little square of that for you guys. And I'm also throwing in a Go-Gurt today. These are the simple Go-Gurts I get from Costco. The kids like them. And these are in the mixed berry flavor. Now the kids also will be taking their waters today because I'm all out of juice. We have no more juice. We have to go to, back to Costco. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on here. I will put an ice pack in here today and then we will head out the door. I'm so glad it's Friday. Are you glad it's Friday? Yeah. 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 Okay. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay, time to see what they actually ate. We have Mackenzie's, here's Jackson's and Lily's. I actually have all the kids with me right now. Say hi guys. Hi. So, Let's do something different. Let's start with Lily's today, because we never start with Lily's, do we, Lily? No, we never do. <laughs> okay, so let's open this up and take a look. Uh-oh, what happened, Lily? Were you full? 
She ate her pizza though, right? Your pizza pocket, was it good? Yeah, I loved it. We pretty much like any kind of pizza, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you ate your fudge, was that good? Yeah, you ate your olives. We do have some fruit left over, but I have to say, this strawberry, this strawberry is not looking very good. So I don't, I don't blame you for not eating it. That got really kind of smushed and gross looking. I'm not sure how that happened, but you ate your yogurt, right? So that's pretty good. Now let's check on Jackson's. Uh-oh, Jackson. What happened? Were you full? Yeah. What was your favorite part, though? The pizza. The pizza was your favorite? You know, I had one of those, and I thought it was really tasty, too. And it was so easy. Okay, so he just has a little bit of fruit left, but he ate everything else. So overall, pretty good. Now, Mackenzie... This isn't a contest, but if it was, you would be the winner because <laughs> you ate everything. What was your favorite part, Kenzie? I love the pizza pocket. <laughs> you did? All right, so pretty good job today. The fruit salad, maybe that was getting kind of old. Maybe that's why they didn't like it. We'll see you see next, next week. week. Okay guys, now if you'd like to see more videos from me, you can click on the link up here or down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can hit my face right down there. And don't forget to subscribe because next week I'm going to be starting Christmas themed lunches. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.